to find a way out of here. All right, guys, welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. This actually seems simple enough. We're just gonna keep quiet. Mosey along under. Oh, oh, we gotta come out. <laughs> Laura, the train yard is on the north end of the Gulag. I'll wait for you there. On my way. Okay, heading for the train yard. Get out of Dodge. Fight through the Trinity base to find the old train station. Strange being in the field again. I was under cover for so long, locked in a life of comfort at Croft Manor. Here, there is no comfort at all. The air is frozen, the food is canned and cold. The company, aside from Constantine, is abysmal. But I asked to be here. I need to be here. I do not have the luxury of time or patience. Constantine and I begin this journey together. I will be there when he fulfills his destiny. So for now, I'll breathe deep. I'll let the cold air burn my lungs. I'll let it remind me that I'm still alive. And let it fuel me for the final push towards our destiny. So if I heard correctly in the last video, they are brother and sister. That traitorous bitch, that pisses me off. I've got to get out of here. Tear this place apart. Yay, map updated, secrets revealed. Helpful. Okay, so we've got to get out of here before these guys bust in and make me their little bitch. Trinity soldiers. Aside from the design, there's no identifying techs. They keep themselves hidden, even from their own foot soldiers. That symbol reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's pretty generic, I guess. It's like a, it's like a car hood ornament or something. <laughs> All right, tethering. Rope arrows can also attach to rope coils. That's useful. I really like the whole rope arrow concept. Let's see. Just gotta find something to attach it to. Oh, it's right there. All right. Got to get that wire out of the water. Hope I don't fuck this up. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> I figured you could just jump right onto the line. That is apparently not the case. Let's do it from here, I guess. Are you not supposed to jump on this? Oh, you're supposed to walk on it, maybe? What the fuck, man? Oh, okay. I guess that's a smarter idea than trying to walk across an unsecure rope line. <laughs> what? fun little <laughs> assault right there. I like how they gave you unlimited ammo just for that section. Now I have a rifle. Ho, ho, ho. Wait, it was now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, I fucked it up. Okay, so there's gotta be guys all over the place, right?
You guys can just keep rushing me like that. That's fine. Just gonna loot the shit out of everybody. I'm guessing this whole section is meant to just be a big shootout. <laughs> Fucking chopper. Under fire. Oh man, I thought that barrel was explosive. <laughs> well, the lantern will work. Yeah, eat fire, motherfucker. Do they have a shotgun? I want to take the shotgun too. I should take every damn weapon they have. Ah, fuck. Okay. These guys are not very good at using the cover system. <laughs> I'm just looking for, like, alternate paths and shit like that right now. But I think this part is meant to be pretty straightforward. I just really don't want to miss anything. That is an explosive barrel right there. I'm going to try and steer clear of that. Ah! Hold right bumper. Crafting explosives. Craft handheld objects, bottles, cans, jars into deadly throwable weapons. Are you fucking serious? Okay, I'm holding right bumper. Okay, here we go. Shrapnel grenades. Metal cans can be crafted into shrapnel grenades that incapacitate enemies on impacts. Can I blind throw? Yeah! Holy shit, that's awesome! And you get a lot of XP for it, too. Oh, that's what that stuff is used for. It's that, uh... That ore stuff I've been picking up. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm sold. I'm on board. It is somewhat limited, though. See, so you really gotta... I guess you gotta be... Stringent with how you use them. Oh, shit. Fuck that! I'm blowing up everybody! <laughs> How did that not hit that guy? Get out of here, you little bitch. Am I- I'm full on salvage? Fuck. I don't want to leave any behind. It's terrible. And I don't think I can use that stuff outside of base camp. Oh, okay. So, here's where I can blow up those... What are these things called? Ah, shit. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Let's, uh, heal up a little bit. There we go. So, this looked like a thing I could maybe, like, blast the rubble away, but actually I think that's incorrect. Alright. It's really cool how they've, like, uh... How they've mapped, like, a quick use of a lot of these functions to just holding down the triggers. As we push deeper into the valley, I find myself staring at the ruins and pondering my own mortality. These structures have been here for ages, waiting for this moment. I can feel their anticipation. The stone itself wants us to succeed. And what is there to stop us? Non-believers. 
the fearful and the lost. Those that hid the source from Trinity for so long. We are the very people who would use what's hidden here as it was intended to be used. This world is too corrupt, too rotten, too sick to be saved by any means other than Trinity. We will have our army. A righteous man will lead it. Constantine will be that man. Eh, yeah, probably not though. You guys are pretty fucked up. Okay. But yeah, um, I really like the whole concept of like crafting what you need on the fly. It's a cool system. And uh, it's very easy to use. Alright, I've just got to double check. There's no way I can use my salvage from this menu, right? I have to be at a campfire. There's a resources menu, but there's no like crafting or anything like that, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. There were a bunch of cans back here. I'm gonna just grab one, take it with me. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Map updated. Explore satchels reveal buried resource caches, cave entrances, and strong box locations. Oh, that's pretty nice. You don't have to drop the can every time I look at that, though. Uh, let's see. Did it... Wow, it showed a bunch of things on here. Can I mark all these at the same time? Nope, one at a time. Alright, we'll start with that one. Jacob! Lara, be careful. They're everywhere. You'll run into some trouble. There he is! Oh shit. Damn it! Shit. Sounds like that dude's getting fucked up. Alright. Give me my new weapon. In weeks, things are becoming clear. I know. There's something hidden here. The Soviets came looking for it too, and now Trinity and Anna. Anna. God, I still don't quite believe it. All this time, did she watch Dad as well? I've got to keep moving. Find Jacob and join his people. If I can prove myself to them, maybe he will tell me more about this place. Okay, I'm not sure which one I want to go with here. All of these seem good in their own way. Guess I will grab... We should probably close out the first level before we head on to level two. Well, I guess there's really nothing that says that we have to do that. Deadly Force seems pretty good. Much faster. And they're more brutal. Alright, I'm sold. <laughs> And we've got one more point to spend. Let's go to the survivor tree. Rapid crafting. That, yeah. At, at first I was like, why the hell is that something you would really care about? But now that I see like how powerful crafting is in this game and how you do it like right in the middle of combat, I actually get that. That rapid crafting skill. Uh, let's see. Enemies killed or knocked off for crafted handheld objects yield more XP. Also good. A lot of these are just designed to help you level up faster. Craft explosive bombs from red gas cans and deadly proximity mines from enemy radios. Oh, man. Do those all use that ore resource? Because that's not like an unlimited thing. Fall damage. God, all these are good. Craft large capacity ammo and resource pouches at base camps and increase amount of ammo crafted on the run. Body Trap Specialist, craft traps on enemy corpses that detonate a deadly poison gas cloud and investigate it? Jesus. 
Hollow point bullets, craft high damage pistol bullets that expand on impact. Okay. And demolitions expert, advanced techniques gives all crafted handheld items an increased detonation radius. Jesus. Pretty much all of these are awesome in one way or another. Uh, I guess we'll go with this one. More XP. I, I like to buy the more XP skills, just because the more of those we buy, the faster we level up, the more skills we can buy. Alright, and we should have a new pistol in here. And an assault rifle. <laughs> I've got to spend as much salvage as I can, because I'm pissed that I maxed it out and had to leave a bunch behind. Alright. More damage. Rate of fire. Recoil. Recoil is probably the best thing to get for a rifle, right? Reload speed and ammo capacity. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get this one first. That uses a lot of skins. Holy shit! Probably worth it though. And then let's look at our semi-automatic pistol. Uh, focused on rapid firing speed. Hold on a second. Okay, so when you equip it and then look at a similar weapon type, it shows you how they compare. I like that. Uh, this thing has better damage and recoil, but worse reload, ammo capacity, rate of fire. Well, I guess this is the one we want to go with for now, right? We can get better damage, ha, rate of fire, ammo capacity, or reload speed. Let's just start by upping the damage on it. And then anything else I can get for it. I just want to spend as much salvage as humanly possible. Larger magazine. Oh, we, we, we just barely can't get both of these. But we could get both of these. Alright. That one and that one. Very good. This pistol's going to be pimped out by the time I'm done with it, guys. Alright, so I gather that I can't... Hold on. Drop that. Right, bow, pistol, rifle. You can only have one of each weapon type at a time. That's logical. Um, I'm guessing they use the same type of ammo. I don't actually know for sure. Oh no, my can disappeared. Oh, there it is. Give me that. Brought this can with me all the way from inside the base. Alright. More shit to fight through. <laughs> Hold on, let's look over here. We cannot go that way. Oh, they made me drop it. Ah, oh, shit. Rope pull. Use the bow to shoot and pull enemies or objects wrapped in rope. Yeah, fuck you guys. Can I blind fire, by the way? Oh, I can't. That sucks. That's, that's probably behind a skill, too. <laughs> fuck these lights. Yeah. Ah, shit! Fucking hell. There's a guy way up in that tower. Fuck you people and your grenades. Ooh, here's a can. Wow, they really don't like me sitting in that spot. 
Ooh, looks like I can pull that one down too. Motherfucker. Shoot all red laptops to destroy the enemy's intel. Red laptops? Okay. Let's get caught in the explosion. <laughs> Oh, shit. Alright, that was a regular ass melee takedown. I was trying to do the dodge takedown, but... It's tricky. The timing's gotta be perfect. And I don't really know the tells for when they're gonna attack yet. Let's try our new pistol. Laura kept moving when I didn't want her to. There we go. <laughs> oh fuck! Hostile spotted. She's alone. Move out. Make it quick. Why did this happen? Keep her down. I got you covered. me up. Oh, shit! Okay, probably should have healed. <laughs> Hostile spotted. She's alone. Move out. Make it quick. Got most of them with that one. Thought I'd be letting you bitches come out. Okay, they came out. <laughs> oh, they heard me reload and they think I'm empty now. Hey. Bullshit. Oh, why can't I shoot him out now? I shot him out before. You guys saw it, right? Okay, they're armored. Probably have to use explosives to take him out, I'm guessing. Fuck. Okay, knocked his armor off. God damn. Okay, so you can't really beat him to death when they're armored, but you can knock the armor off and then shoot them? Weird. I'm going to have to experiment with that. Okay, so finally everybody, can I look around for a little bit? Damn. So I triggered that by running in here. That was weird. It was a weird flow to that encounter. It's not even anything important in here. <laughs> 